Hello guys, welcome to my serial port tutorial for Texcom application. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize your Texcom with any Bluetooth serial port device. In order to do that, you only need to follow two simple steps. Well, the first step is to make a hardware connection, and we can do that using the Windows Phone Bluetooth interface itself. Once you have done that, the second step is making a software connection, and we can do that using Texcom interface. So, let's start with the first step. First, we need to move to serial port screen inside Texcom application. There, you're gonna find a little toolbar down below. Um, it has four buttons, as you can see. Um, the first button is the Windows Phone Bluetooth interface. The second one is the synchronization button. The third one is the add special character button. And the fourth one is the send button. Well, the first step was making a hardware connection. So in order to do that, you need to tap the Bluetooth button. Turn your Bluetooth on. And you're going to have uh, a list of all the devices you have connected to your phone. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the RN42. But you might be using another device, so uh, please find it on the list and tap your device. And once it's already connected, you have to go back. Once you're back, the second step is making the software connection, so please tap on Synchronize button. And you're going to have another list. Please find your device on the list and tap it. Then tap OK. Now your device is fully synchronized, so let's tap on the text box and let's write a message. Hello world. And send it. In this case, uh, my Bluetooth device is programmed to return all the information it receives. I mean, it works as an echo. Well, you have two boxes there. The one in darker blue is what you're sending, and the one in lighter blue is what you're receiving. And both boxes have a timestamp. So, uh, as an additional tool, you have the Add button. So what is this button for? Well, this button helps you in case you need to send special characters in your message. I mean, if you need to send a null character or a end of line character or any character that you need and that is not available in the keyboard, you can add it that way. You only need to start the dialogue and write the ASCII code of the character you need and then tap OK. So your character is going to be added to your message. Mm, just as an additional comment, in case you need to clear the screen, um, well, you only need to tap twice and that's it. In order to disconnect your device from Dexcom application, you only need to tap the sync button again and then tap OK. Well, guys, that's all. So, um, thank you for watching.